Okay, it's Mother's Day. I need to send the perfect Mother's Day tweet. Since my mom's on Twitter and all, 140 characters should be a piece of cake. Hey Ma, remember that time we went camping and you said I got on your last nerve? Well thankfully your last nerve was strong enough to not actually leave me there to be raised by wolves like you said you would. Thank God. <laughs> oh, that was way too long. Okay. At mom, it's your day. I have so many memories of you being great. There's just too much to tweet. How about I tell you everything over dinner? Hey, that was perfect. Happy Mother's Day. Attention RNs, LPNs, CNAs, CMAs, and MAs. CHI St. Vincent presents a Health Career Expo here at St. Mark next Sunday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. CHI hired more than 400 people as a result of the Power to Get Wealth job fair in January, and they are looking for more good talent to join their team. Recruiters will be on the gym floor of the Family Life Center doing on-site interviews and helping you get connected to their team of medical professionals. Pre-register today in the Masse Mark section of smark.org. And that day, you will also be able to sign up for the tutorial sessions to help you prepare for the NCLEX later this summer. On behalf of the students of Program Impact and the Tendaji CDC, thank you to everyone who came out Thursday night to support their performance of The Wiz. Numerous studies measuring creative thinking, critical thinking, problem solving, and reasoning all find these functions increase and improve when arts education is added to the educational mix. Because of your generous support of the Tendaji CDC, students are exposed to experiences that enrich their educational experience and help them see bigger and brighter futures. And speaking of generous support, Tendaji CDC recently received a personal $5,000 donation from a J.A. Fair High School teacher who saw the direct impact the Reclaiming Scholars Alternative Suspension Program has on students he works with. The program not only impacts the academic success of students, but it also helps those who have had behavioral problems in the past modify their behavior to avoid future hurdles to their success. One example is John Kane, a 10th grader at J.A. Fair High School. Hello, my name is John Kane. I am in the 10th grade. I attend J.A. Fair High School. And the reason I was here is because of my behavior. When I had first came, I was not really into school. Like I was not, I didn't care about school. I just wanted to quit school. I didn't really had the right mindset to be at school. But when I had got done with Reclaiming Scholars, I cut a lot of people off, helped me take away from that old crowd that I was being with, and I got more focused in school. The things that I really got to talk to them about was with the people, the crowd I hung around, and what was holding me back from my education and telling them what was going on in class. My grades were really low at first, but then I started paying more attention in class and not falling asleep at the Reclaiming Scholars program because they helped me and gave me a good opening to why I should do better in class so I could, because I want to be an athlete in the future and I can't do that if I don't have the right grades and the right GPA to do that. Basically, a lot of kids here was going through some of the same problems that I was going through in school by being lazy and not really focusing in school, but I had I could talk to most of the kids and just help them do better because y'all helped me do better, so I was like, y'all was giving me a lot of knowledge that I could give to the other kids. I feel a lot better about the new person I'm becoming. I cut off a lot of people, like I said, and just doing way better. They always keep me motivated. My new friends that I hang with, they keep me motivated and keep me on the right track. Having a chance to, with Reclaiming Scholars, to them to get a chance to get that off your record is a really big opportunity you should take advantage of. Overall, I just want to say this is a good program and I recommend a lot of students to come here and just, before you get in trouble, and just try to do better. It's not worth it. This program is not only changing the lives of students like John, but the effect is multiplied when they return as a positive example for others. What a great way to invest in the lives of our youth. Partner with Tendaji today by designating your donation on your envelope or through online giving in the St. Mark app, 
or at smark.org. As we continue adding one more to the body of Christ through Plus One, we want to share some practical tips to help you get started. Today, I want to talk about evangelism. As Christians, we know that this is something that we're supposed to do, but if you're like me, many times you're at a loss about how to share your faith. So today, I want to share with you five steps on how you can share your faith. Step number one, start with prayer. Now, I don't mean that every time you're about to start a conversation with someone that you interrupt them and say, hold on, hold on, hold on, we gotta pray. What I do mean though, is that before the conversation begins, you should be praying that God would give you a few things. Yes, ask God to give you wisdom and understanding the right words to say, but most importantly, ask God to give you the ears to be able to hear. Step number two, listen and ask questions. Realize that all meaningful relationships start with a conversation, not a presentation. You see, listening is an essential part about being able to share your faith. I mean, think about it. How else are you going to be able to share something of value unless you're listening to that person? With your questions, try to get to know that person better and what that person believes. Step number three, take your time. I know that in the past, I've felt guilty when I've tried to witness to people. I think that many people feel that if conversion doesn't take place in a 10 minute conversation, then we failed as Christians. Sure, your conversion story might have climaxed at a particular point, but if you're like me, you also recognize the many years that God was slowly trying to win your heart. For me, for this video in its entirety and more clips, visit the plus one section of the St. Mark app or the My St. Mark section of smark.org. And remember, ICAP, be intentional, be courageous, be available, and be prayerful about sharing the gospel. It's what we are all called to do.